Hey guys, what's up? It's John from Album Review TV, and today I'm reviewing Sleigh Bell's debut album, Treats. It came out in May of 2010. The album is a noise pop album. That's the genre that Sleigh Bells are in. It's Derek Miller and Alexis Krauss making the music. Alexis is on vocals and Derek's on guitar and production. Uh, basically, this album, if you uh, watched my review on Reign of Terror, you know I hated it. But I absolutely love Treats. I have my roommate to thank for that. Uh, he actually got me addicted to Treats and he uh, gave me the Treats album for my birthday last year. This noise pop album is genre mashing. It's all over the place. It's hyped up, pump up music. It gets you hyped, stoked for anything. It's so lively and so much life in the music. And that's what I was so disappointed in in the second album is that sure it was noisy but it wasn't full of life like tr treats is just bubbling over the top with uh, fun and uh, every song except with the exception this I'm gonna go ahead and get my one complaint about the album over with right now the song Rachel I feel like that song is very boring doesn't fit in on the album I skip that song almost every time I listen to the album but this album has been played consistently since uh, December of last year, so three, three going on four months of, you know, I just do not get tired of it, especially the tracks Infinity Guitars, Tell em, Kids, and Crown on the Ground. Uh, just, and the record closes on a perfect note as well. Uh, the song Treats, the actual title track off of the album, is just a great way to close out the album. The songs do feature repetitive beats a lot of the time, but they're incredibly catchy, especially because they're so loud, and the vocals are not important, as I mentioned in my other Sleigh Bells reviews. They're not as important, I should say. Uh, Alexis, you know, she's just kind of talking nonsense, talking about random stuff like Infinity Guitars, Dumb Whores, Best Friends, Infinity Guitars, uh, 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 uh. who knows what the hell they're talking about, but it sounds fucking incredible uh, when it comes out in the music. Uh, the vocals are kind of in the mix, uh, the guitars are probably a little bit louder, especially on uh, Treats here. Uh, they even it out a little bit on Reign of Terror. Another thing I'm not too fond of, because I like the way Treat sounds and I wouldn't change anything about it except eliminating the track Rachel. For favorites on the album, uh, gosh, I guess I can narrow it down to, f I'll pick five. Tell em, Kids, Crown on the Ground, Infinity Guitars, and Riot Rhythm. Of co ah, I can't exclude, uh, I can't exclude AB Machines or Straight A's. Straight A's is a really crazy song. Oh, just craziness, nonsense, and noise pop. This album is fun, uh, upbeat, and I suggest you guys check it out and blast it in your car or on your computer over the speakers as loud as you possibly can because that's what I always like to do. I like to roll down the windows and crank up some sleigh bells. The album got the band some pretty significant attention. It's actually sold over 185,000 copies here in the U.S. now for this independently signed band. Uh, they're signed to Mom and Pop Records. Uh, the album originally charted at number uh, 39 on the Billboard 200, selling 12,000 in its first week. Uh, which is very good for their date for a debut album, uh, especially from a noise pop group, and uh, it's probably a marketing nightmare because no one really knows, hey, what's noise pop and how do we sell this? Uh, I suggest you guys go out and pick out the album, and I suggest uh, picking up Comeback Kid off of the new album as well. Don't bother with the rest of it. I will see you guys very soon, uh, a lot of great upcoming reviews, a lot of classic reviews, especially, that's what I'm focusing on right now. Upcoming new reviews, I know I'm doing for sure, uh, Digital Renegade by IC Stars and Kids in the Street by All American Rejects. I'll see you guys soon.